Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On December 11, 1847, Natchez hosted what was described as a warm and enthusiastic reception for General Zachary Taylor. The conquering hero of the Mexican War and aspiring Whig president was no stranger to Natchez. Taylor owned a plantation near Rodney, and of course, his daughter, Sarah, had been the first wife of Jefferson Davis. Two of Taylor's most ardent supporters were Adam Bingaman, who later won a $200 bet on Taylor's 1848 presidential election, and George Winchester, the leader of the Adams County chapter of the Rough and Ready Club, a Whig organization. The reception began that morning with a salute of 15 guns, which was the signal for the several military companies and civic associations to assemble on the bluff. Major General John Quitman would then lead the column down Broadway to State Street. Included in the parade were the mayor and selectmen, the Natchez Fencibles, Adams Light Guard, the Masons, the Odd Fellows, members of the fire department, and interested citizens. The parade wound through the downtown streets of Natchez to the City Hotel, where the chairman of the reception committee formally welcomed the general. Upon the column's return to Canal Street, another salute, this time of 100 guns, commenced. The Natchez Courier reported that the occasion all was enthusiasm, all was joy, all was gladness. Three years later, when President Taylor died in 1850, a solemn mock funeral was held in Natchez, attended by a large crowd. I'm Teresa Busby, Vice President of Kapaya Lincoln Community College, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.